Welcome back to P2. Today we're looking at arithmetic sequences, unit 5.1. Now, these are sequences that you would have experienced during your GCSE or IGCSE, and even before that. Um, an arithmetic sequence is when the difference between each term is the same, so it's constant. Okay? It can sometimes be called an arithmetic progression and it's either increasing or decreasing. If it's not constant value between each term, then it's not arithmetic. Now, at A level, we start looking at a different formula or a different way of writing it as you might have seen at GCSE or IGCSE. And it looks like this. Now, U is for the term, so un means the nth term. Like u2 would be the second term, or u5 would be the fifth term, and so on. Now, the first term is always a. a stands for the first term, which is kind of like u1, but it's always a. And then D is for the common difference. So that is what the sequence is going up in or going down in. Okay, obviously it'll be positive for an increase in sequence and negative for a decrease in sequence. Okay, now it's quite easy this is, but let's jump straight into a few examples. So, example here, find, oh, the nth term of a sequence is un equals 3n plus 11. Write down the first five terms and then find the 25th term. Nice and straightforward. So looking at a, uh, u1 would be when I substitute 1 in for n for the first term. And that's going to give me 3 plus 11, so 14. u2 is going to be 3 times 2 plus 11. So it's going to be 6 plus 11, 17. What you will notice is that these are going up in threes as it's a 3n. So I can save myself a little bit of time now and I can just add 3 to these. So we get 20, 23, 26. Part B just wants the 25th term, so U25, so we've got three lots of 25 plus 11. So it's 75 plus 11, which is 86. So second example here, this time we've got UN is 80 minus 4N. So this is going to be a decrease in sequence as we've got a negative uh, 4N. Now, first few bits are very much the same. So U1, we're just substituting in 1 in replace of N. So 80 minus 4, 76. U2, 80 minus, now we're replacing N by 2. So you've got 80 minus 8, 72. And again, I can keep going with the substitution or just start working them out now by taking away so we get 68, 64, and 60. Five with the other bell. Okay, part B is find the 12th term. So U12, 80 minus 4 lots of 12, which is 80. Oops, sorry, minus 48, 32. Part C, slightly different question here. We have a decrease in sequence and we're looking for when it first becomes negative. So we want this UN to be less than zero. So that means we've got 80 minus 4N is less than zero. Now, got to be careful here, you don't want to be 
multiplying or dividing by negative values, but it's fine to add or subtract. So let's add the 4n so that it becomes positive, so on the right hand side. And then I want to divide by 4. So in this case, n is greater than 20, therefore n equaling 21 will be the first term that this sequence is negative. And then I just want to double check. So let's do a quick check here. So we've got u21 would be 80 minus 4 lots of 21. Uh, that's 80 minus and 4 21s is 84. And we get negative 4. Sorry, I actually misread my question there a little bit. Um, it's not really a check because, because it actually says in the question it wants me to find the first term that it's negative, not just the value of n, which term number is negative. So if it's term number, it would just be n, but no, the first term is negative is negative 4. Okay, in this example, we have the sequences and we want to find the nth term. So let's have a look at a. So we're looking at un equals a plus n minus 1 d. Now in this first one, we can see that a is 4, as that's the first term, and d is 3, as it's going up in 3s. We can see that this is a plus 3 each time. So we want to substitute those into our formula here. So 4 plus 3n minus 1. <clears throat> All that's left to do is expand my brackets. And then we can see it's 3n plus 1. Same would be, so we can see that this is decreasing by 6 each time. And we can see that a is 37. So it's a good habit to write down the formula for the nth term each time. Just helps you remember it so that, you know, when you actually need to use it, you don't have to kind of learn it because you've already remembered it. Uh, so d is minus 6 in this case. So don't forget about that negative as it's decreasing. So we've got 37 minus 6 times n minus 1. So 37 minus 6n plus 6. So this gives me 43 minus 6n as my nth term. Uh, final example for this video. Um, given that u3 equals negative 1 and u5 equals 3, find the 15th term. Okay, I've seen some people do these kind of questions where they just literally think, oh, third term and fifth term, multiply them together, that's the 15th term. Obviously, anyone with half a brain will realise that is wrong. Okay, what we really need to do here is find the nth term first. So, think about the third term. So, u3 will be a plus... Now n will be 3, so n minus 1 d, or a plus 2 d. And that is going to be equal to negative 1. u5, on the other hand, will be a plus 5 minus 1 d, or a plus 4 d. And that we know is equal to 3. So what we've got here is two equations with two unknowns. So you've guessed it, simultaneous equations. Now, you can see that you've just got a single A in each. So the best thing to do is one equation take away the other equation. So I'm going to do equation 2 take away equation 1, because equation 2 has the larger values for D. Uh, it just makes my life a little bit easier. So I'm going to write it this way around, a plus 4d equals 3, and then the other one is a plus 2d equals negative 1, and I'm taking these away. So we've got 3 take away negative 1 
is going to be 4. 4D, take away 2D, is 2D. And you can see A take away A is 0 at the end there. So this means that D must be equal to 2. Now that we've got that, we can just substitute that into any one of my equations. So let's sub D equals 2 into equation 1. So minus 1 equals A plus 2 lots of 2. So minus 1 equals A plus 4. So A equals minus 5. So now I can find the nth term. So remember, un is a plus n minus 1 d. a is negative 5, and d is 2. So we get negative 5 plus 2n minus 2. So we get 2n minus 7. And that's my nth term. So the 15th term is 2 lots of 15 minus 7, so that's 30 minus 7, which is 23. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video so far and you found at least some of it useful. Um, as always, I will put the some questions up and answers at the end of the video. But if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and help me out a little.